Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Again, personal effectiveness book review. Again, the book is by Leo Tiago. I pray some of you have gone out and gotten your own copy, have made your notes, and left your comments on some of the other videos. Because I'm sure you're going to grab things that I did not grab. I've been telling you that the end was coming soon, and here it is. The last, what I call the last chapter, chapter 26. Now what? Now we are in the last section of the book, and here's where the rubber meets the road. Of course, that's my personal input. But seriously, what do we do now? Only you can answer that one. But hopefully these last tidbits will help you along the way. Go and take action. <laughs> Trust me, I just got my butt spanked. And am I really the only one? I don't think so. Don't let this opportunity keep getting farther and farther from you. Your life will only be getting more disorganized if you don't start now. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. I actually went back and kind of looked at things and grabbed the calendar and I found that actually it's kind of hilarious because it's been 20 years that ago that I started my first home business. Yeah, first home business. Okay, so 20 years ago. I made the decision this year with this company, with this team, wonderful, wonderful, awesome team that I have, that I'm going to stick with it. I'm Everyone I've spoken to, whatever it is that they have chased, whatever it is that they've wanted to do, whatever it is that they want to accomplish in their lives, it has taken them at least one year for them to see the fruits of their labor. Which again kind of reminds me of a farmer who plants seed. Now why would I think that a farmer could go plant some corn and a week later go harvest it? Or better yet, plant an apple tree. Or a grapefruit tree. Or what, whatever it is that the farmer plants. It takes time. Don't be like me. Okay, give it the time it needs. Don't be trying to rush it. Rushing it just screws it up anyway. <laughs> Trust me, speaking from experience. So just take time. Okay? Plant your seeds. Water the seeds. Knowledge and wisdom. Personal skill set. Increase those things. Okay? It'll happen. But now is the time. Now is when you need to get started. Okay, the best time may have been 20 years ago, just like in my life, but you can always start now. Okay? Be more than the average person. Say you're going to do it today, and do it. Don't put it to the wayside. Don't cast it off. Do it. If you said you're going to do it today, do it. You have the information with you, and it is your job to make it. Okay, I, let, let's put this in a little simple terms for you. Okay, if I go get a job, I'm not just going to hand you my paycheck to pay your mortgage. If I get a job, it is to pay my own mortgage, it is to put my own food on my own table. Okay, you have the information. You are here watching the videos. You are here increasing your skill set each and every day. And not just with my videos, I'm sure you're out there watching other videos. I hope mine is inspiring. I hope it's encouraging you. But what I like most about this is that when I have those days, I get to go back and watch myself talk to myself. This is like so weird. It's so weird but cool at the same time. It's your future. Your decisions. You can do this thing. Help others too and change their life for the better. Okay, for those of us who have been to Danny Johnson's First Steps to Success seminars, we know very well, you know very well, exactly what I'm talking about. So let's get out there and make it happen. Put others first. Don't focus just on you. Focus on someone else. 
Take a homeless person to lunch. It's amazing what you can find out. Better yet, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, just buy an extra cup of coffee. Go sit on the corner and talk to them. Okay? And then encourage them. Okay? Simple. Simple steps. Or, as a lot of things that are going around, random acts of kindness. Okay? That'll inspire you. That'll motivate you. This is a wake-up call to you. Put this book into action. Karen Lamb says, a year from now, you would have wished you started today. Guilty, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I know, so know that this is what I'm busy telling myself. Plus, I have met recently a good handful of people who keep repeating how it took them one year to get whatever it is they are working on. To the point of it working. Again, plant the seed, water the seed, pull out all the weeds, you know, let it grow, give it time to grow and mature. Okay? So here's to starting that year over yet again. Who's going to join me? I know I'm not the only one out there. I'm not the only one who has tripped and fallen flat on their face. Okay? We can do this. Leave the comments below. Let's help each other. Let's encourage each other. Keep each other on track. Okay? Because we can truly do this. There's absolutely nothing you can... can you can accomplish anything in life. All you have to do is simply change the mindset. Focus on it. And make it happen. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it together as a team. Wouldn't that be nice to have someone on your side for a change? Think about it. Ponder on it. Leave your comments below. Let's connect. Look at the opportunity around you with a different mindset. Something you didn't know before. You know the secret of how the successful people keep their life in order, and you should start doing it too. It will organize all your problems and change your thinking. Which one are you going to start with now? It's your choice, and your choice alone. You can choose to stay in the situation you're in, which is fine, because that's you. That's your life. You are allowed to live your life for you. But for those of you who want to make a change, for those of you who want to do better, for those of you that have the burning desire in you that you know you are not where you were meant to be, let's team up and work together. And as you're making the changes and as things go better for you, as you overcome things, you cross over that, that torn down bridge, you found a way to patch it and make it work and get it all the way across to the other side. As you climb over that brick wall that seems to be standing in your way, or better yet, you found an open door off to the side and you went through that instead. Hello? There are so many things that you can teach the rest of us that are watching and reading the comments below. That's the most exciting part about this YouTube stuff. We get, to, we get to encourage each other. We get to inspire each other. But just leaving the comments below. This book was an awesome, awesome read. Personally, I felt anyway. I did get a lot from it. Preferably, again, you've picked up your own copy by now. Make your own notes. And come back and share with the rest of us. I'm sure you're going to... Something else, something different is going to stick out to you. And who knows, she may cause me to have one of those I could have had a V8 moments. It's pretty cool how this stuff works. And I'm excited for you. Because I believe in you. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to inspire you. Prayerfully, I am doing just that. So until the next video, Godspeed, God bless, and remember, the choice is yours. And I...
believe in you.